Hi. Uh, yeah, this is the next part in our amazing uh, adventure happening in the world of Traveler under the guise of our great GM, Steve. So I will do a recap on the past events. Personal log, login procedures, username, Leon, pass, redacted, automated message, confidential, subject, a hell of a day in paradise. Body. I am laying these words on the cyber paper to put my mind at ease. After a couple of hectic days, we finally found ourselves back at the casino. But I am getting ahead of myself. We have arrived on the Akemi, homeworld of the famous Sato family, just a couple of days ago. Surrounded by safety and friends, May relaxed a lot. A little bit too much, in fact, if it wouldn't have been for her father sending her around to boast of this reassured confidence the great family possesses. Great thing, poor thing has to roam around, check on errands, all in the open, with a hefty bounty on her head. So it followed that me, Tessan, and Anna accompanied May on a routine checkup on one of the mining operations. Deep underwater, a spider mining drone got one of its legs torn to shreds. Here we meet with Sal Gornik and got acquainted with one of Sato's entrusted guards. He seems like a reliable and friendly folk. He showed compassion to Tessan's dread of the water. With Sal and Tessan on a small submersible escorting me, Anna and May, we took to the depths. Finding the drone was not of any trouble. But lo and behold, we meet an unexpected guest. A cephalopod looking thing with long trendles of rainbow coloring. It was one of these creatures capable of psionic interactions. Red flaring warnings were coming from its pointy ends. We assumed it wanted to ward us off and it wasn't far from the truth. Its thoughts started to ma materialize danger in my mind. Not far ahead behind it, there were more mines, potentially even some of the culprits. We hit the warning and proceeded to return to the surface, only to have an ambush of gunfire upon us, more specifically on May. But one blink and she was gone, and then back again. It appears our friend possesses some psionic strengths of her own. It might also explain her father's reticence to speak on the matter when brought up. As I'm writing this, we take a well-deserved break in the family's casino personal rooms. I fear that today's events have shined light on the frivolous plans of the family to appear unfazed with the threats brought by Astrogen. Ah, Corpus, they never change. They'll try to attack you through anything, especially through your loved ones. To add on to this, the fact that they went to war with some of the most feared clans in this sector means one thing. They do not fear of consequences, hiding, and more tricks, and even more tricks up their sleeves. Log body and log out procedure completed. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you're back at the casino, right? And um, you had some leads to kind of follow up on. You had these uh, pictures of these would-be assassins. Um, Lucas sent a message off to Dragonfly. Um, you you get a message back from, uh, from Dragon, and uh, um, he uh, sends you a note, you know, there. Uh, it says that basically that these guys are from a chemi. Um, he did a little bit of digging and um, they are part of a um, a group that is actually like you've heard of them before. Um, there was a while uh, something that happened a while ago when you were involved in a dream den and um, there was some people that were kidnapping psychers. Um, they were like sort of shanghaiing them, you know, for lack of a um, a better term, right? 
and um, these guys are called um, the uh, Reavers. And uh, part of their MO is that they will, uh, they will like walk up to people and then blow like a, a chemical into their face that um, makes them sort of like compliant and like do what you ask of them. Like there's stories of them go, like grabbing people, taking that, you know, making them go to an ATM and then just emptying out their ATM. And then they, they, you know, wake up out of this drug haze days later. Um, but they're also apparently involved in like white slavery, <laughs> um, kidnapping, like um, taking people that are in low birth, like uh, cryo like kidnapping them from out of their cryo tubes and keeping them on their ship and then like selling them and stuff like that. So they're really nasty. But these guys have a really long rap sheet on um, Hemsworth. But you didn't mention you didn't mention anything about estrogen, right? Um, Lucas? Um, I, in, in the message, I haven't mentioned anything that would identify the contract or anything. I was like, okay, uh, what is the movement on the contract, uh, market? Somebody placed an order. These are the guys that got sent who might have placed this order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And apparently like, this is just one of the things that they do is like, uh contract killings i guess <laughs> they're known for being like highly cybered up like um uh there's one of the guys is uh you know they they have like stupid nicknames and like one of them what has tank dreads for legs and like you know uh there's a guy that is like his name is like pretty boy and he has like uh his face is like the only thing that's like not cybered up. And then he has like, you know, neck, his neck and everything is all cybered. Yeah, I, I believe it's quite late, but I will just be from my bed uh, forwarding all the info to all my uh, friends. I'm going to be like, yeah, so these are the guys. This is what we are up against. Um, talking more at breakfast, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you also, so like uh, the casino, like Anna, you would have seen this when you were talking to Akira, you know, when you were trying to hunt these guys down and like going through the databases and stuff, you would know that the casino has facial recognition and software. So if these guys pop up in the casino again, then they can nab them and they can take them out into the middle of, uh, take them on a, a boat somewhere and uh, have a little short walk off of a, a little short boat and uh, never come back. <laughs> Mute. I think you're mute. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're mute. You're still muted. It, so, yeah. No. Should be off. Should not be now. Okay. Yeah. Now that's the. Uh, uh, sounds, sounds good to me. I don't like people shooting at me. Yeah. Um. So, um, yeah, you, um, nothing, nothing stopping you from getting a good night's sleep. You know, you get this message mm -hmm. from, uh, Lucas, like, Hey, these are the guys that, um, you know, estrogen probably hired to kill May. And then they're, they're from this. It's basically, it's just a gang. It's just another gang from uh from Hemsit. and there's plenty you know there's plenty of gangs 
and that's fighting words to me because you know i'm in with yeah may's what the daughter of my boss right yep yeah. oh yeah so you know i'm down to like roll against this sorry my belter accents totally crushed right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> so um yeah the the next day you get a message from may and um uh, and then she's like hey um uh good news um there's a there's a, a festival coming up and um and then there's gonna be some races. Um <laughs> she's she's like she's like we should totally go. My you know, my dad doesn't want me hanging around the casino. Um we have a private box, we can watch the races and um and then we can like make an appearance. And we can bring all the heavies and like we can bring guns and stuff. And uh, and she seems like kind of excited to go out and do this, uh, like make an appearance like um, for this festival thing. She seems mm -hmm. very excited to go in front of thousands, tens of thousands of people while she's still being haunted by assassins. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. unless it okay. How um, how far is uh, this uh, place where the races are taking place from here? And how do you uh, uh, and what's how do you get there? So we need to. Once you get in the box, you're probably safe. But we need to get you in the box. Yeah. So there, it's it's a boat race, um, mm -hmm. and. Uh, um, is she is she even sends Sal. She's like Sal. Are you gonna are you gonna race? You know, um, and uh, the uh, but it's their box is like right in front of the casino, basically. Like oh, okay. it, it goes it goes by, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but they um, are, are sorry. It's part of the casino, so maybe that explains why May is not so scared to uh she's like she's like i'm still in the casino i'm still technically in my house like they can't shoot me inside the house you'd be surprised what people can do oh yeah an assassin they'd go they they wouldn't care like a regular thug they might be kind of worried but like an assassin might just plot it all out yeah and she's like you know, um, if these guys show up in the casinos get in the casino again, they are so dead. Like they're we're going to be on them, and and uh, you know my dad is going to have a little talk with them in a little room somewhere, and then, you know, they're they're just going to disappear. It's it's going to be sending a message to Astrogen, like not to fuck with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can yeah, get just... uh, my groans up in the air. Uh, waiting before you, uh, before you make your entrance into the box and be having uh, it taking pictures of the crowds from different angles. Yeah, yeah. you might have to, um, you might want to check because there's going to be drones like uh, filming the race and stuff. You probably have to um, make sure that you like register it so that they have a flight path. Okay. Oh yeah, like if local news is covering this, yeah, probably so gonna have yeah. Like yeah. a half a dozen drones per station covering this. Right. So okay, what what altitude do I need to be at not to be in you know et cetera? Yeah. Okay, they're probably assigned different altitudes or different sections or something like that. Yeah, like we could probably do like a media, you know, we could get you like a media badge or something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure we just talked to dad. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. 
yeah, sorry, Nate, I'm not going to be able to race. I'm, I'm like getting better, but I'm nowhere near as good as those seafarers out there. Like, oh, you're you're too modest. You're yeah. you're like you're the best. Like, you kick okay. their ass. You could you should take the passes. Thanks. Um, man. I yeah, feel man. as if I had to put a number on my skill. For instance, it would be like a zero. <laughs> 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 she has a lot of confidence in me. Um, but uh, yeah, she um, and she kind of explains like sort of like the layout of the casino, and she's like, "I'll co- we'll, I'll come grab you. Like we'll we'll go get some breakfast. Let's go to the buffet. We'll go to the buffet first. Yeah, fruity shrimp, I hear. Oh, yeah, it's really good. All you can eat shrimp. For breakfast? Oh, yeah. Shrimp omelets are the best. <laughs> mm. You're not a big seafood person, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, crab omelets. I mean, yeah, actually, I like shrimp, but just breakfast is a little much. <laughs> Crab, lobster, and shrimp, and everything. It's just it's the best. Actually, where, where my dad's from in Texas, Port Arthur, the whole place mm-hmm. smells like shrimp. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love shrimp. I might get sick of it at that point, but <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, um, May kind of comes around to like scoop you up um and uh and then takes you down to the um the buffet and uh and then she's like lucas you know um lucas you know there's somebody that i want you to meet um she could be like a big asset in all this um we should go we should go talk to them like we could either do it before the races or maybe after um but they're like um you know they're like techie techy guys hackers you know like you guys oh they're into that stuff sounds like a plan she'd like you with all the you know the robes and the beads and stuff you know she's into that like shinto shit <laughs> Yeah, you know, like the Zen vibe. She she like you. Um, I would be yeah. happy. You you can get your coffee. You can get your shrimp omelet. You can get some nice fresh fruit. Got all kinds of great fresh fruit. Yeah, that's what I, I'm just gonna go for more of that than anything else because don't get a lot of fresh fruit in space. <laughs> yeah. They've got some good oranges, oranges and shrimp and pears and shrimp and some that's, bananas and shrimp. That's a great argument. Yeah, wait, I haven't eaten anything of real meat and real vegetables since, I don't know, since when. Um, yeah, Lucas is mm-hmm. building a tower of shrimp omelette and <laughs> other good stuff, yeah. Something a little easier on this time going from kibbles to that is like, um, we have any turf? Sorry, one more time. Is there any turf? You know, surf and turf. Surf is there any turf? turf? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, well, they're doing like breakfast, so they have like an omelet thing, and then they have the, um, the, uh, like an omelet station and then they have like some uh, ham and like roast beef or stuff like that you know this is a water world so you know expect to have you know yeah 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 Yeah. but it's also like a kind of like a four-star casino too so they're Mm -hmm. gonna have yeah they're gonna have some like Mm -hmm. you know uh actual like meat kind of stuff too the ham sounds good but yeah always always have the seafood out the shrimp out at all times and they're massive they're like this big you know 
size of a Datsun. Well, I'm we'll probably answer ship later on today. I mean, maybe for supper or something like that. That'd be good. <laughs> so this is just grabbing what's ever on the table. It's like, oh, this is all free. Well, um, don't mind if I do, as I just keep grabbing stuff over and over again. As everyone just keeps talking. Well, maybe it's a buffet. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like seafood? <laughs> seafood? Like, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of passing uh, tests on some because I don't want to be perceived as uh, stealing outright, but I'm going to be like, we'll take some for later as well <laughs> because I don't know if we are returning here. So we are stashing some uh, in some casseroles, in some takeaway casseroles. <laughs> Another reason to have fruit. <laughs> Quick, freeze dry it. That way we don't ever lose it again. <laughs> Meta wise, I love seafood. So this is perfect. <laughs> and, you know, and with prawns, you know, that big, you know. Save oh, yeah. shell and make carpus armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once you get the smell out. <laughs> you never get the smell out. What do you mean? <laughs> it's never coming out. All right, May. We're going to we have your back. Yeah. Uh, one, one question to the GM, Steve. Can we, uh, if we have the full support of the family, I think it would be wise to be armed with something possible, like kinetic weaponry or something. If we can ask that, yeah, yeah, uh, but something, something concealable. I, I would imagine I would ask for something concealable, like a handgun or something, one-handed weaponry. I don't know. What? Um, yeah. What do you want? What do you need? Um, what kind of skill? I'm just looking at your sheet. Uh, I got a slug. Oh, I throw, you, had, but you do. You do have. You do have. Um, you have slug one. Yeah. And mm -hmm. So, you can get like um, auto pistols. You can get like uh, you know SMG. Like you could. I mean, you could. Mm -hmm. you, could you could bring pretty much anything that you wanted up there. Like you guys can do what you want in this casino. Like um, mm -hmm. you could bring a sniper rifle if you wanted to but it's not concealable you know or a carbine yeah, yeah. um yeah. Uh, a not a uh, not a pistol for uh, me that's all yeah auto that, pistol that, that i think good, is yeah 3d6 minus three yeah three yeah the the uap the universal auto pistols got a yeah 3d6 minus three yeah so it's like three round bursts like <laughs> Um, and then, uh, but you can, yeah, like concealable stuff would probably be like an SMG or an auto pistol. Yeah, I, um, I'm gonna, I'll carry my regular dagger, uh, for, for brawling melee and then my UAP, T, TLA, universal auto pistol. Yeah. And it's all going to be concealed. Yeah, if anybody wants something like that, if you want a um, like an SMG or an auto pistol, you can definitely have one of those. And those are very those are concealable. They're very concealable. Yeah. And then armor wise too, you can have um, cloth armor that it like um, it basically it looks like normal mm -hmm. uh, like street clothes kind of. But it has some armor. Mm -hmm. okay. Where do uh, we add that? Do we add that to our inventory list? Yeah, you know what? Let's just put it in there just because you can hang on to mm -hmm. it. Okay. Um, let me uh, just find it. Right. 97. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even see that. Open up. So, yeah. so, armor, cloth armor is going to be. Um, so, you're getting the tech level seven version. It's going to be plus five. Seven. Uh, and that weighs seven kilograms. 
And it's actually pretty good. Like, this is decent. Decent armor. And the value, what's that? That's like about 500 bucks, 500 credits, something like that. 250. 250. It's the it's the lower tech version. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is not a tech level 10 world. Yeah. Um, and uh, auto pistol, auto pistol. Just find that real quick. Range 10, tech level 8. Uh, one kilogram, 300 bucks or 300 credits. Yeah. So 10 in a magazine. Magazines cost 10 credits. Ideal range is but... five meters. Yeah. Or, or wait, sorry, 10 meters. Yeah, range 10. 3D3 minus, or 3D6 minus three, one kilogram, 15 round mag. Oh, 15? My yeah. book said 10. Could I please get the 15? <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, sure. They make them bigger here. It's yeah. Big, big mag oh, magazine. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, t cr cr 10 credits for a magazine. Nice. I love it. Thank you for reading that. Here I was going along with some little 10 rounder, but I, ha I roll Steve in the east side and I get. 15 rounders. <laughs> I thought the range had auto, but they don't. Yeah. What's the range again? 10, 10 meters. 10. Yeah. 10 meters is ideal range. And then if you're shooting like further than that, you're you're taking a penalty. So 30, 31 feet, something like that. Does anybody want SMG or is it just or auto pistols? Okay. I'd love an SMG, but well, you can... you're talking like a real small one, like a, like a Mac 10 or something like that. Not exactly. like a Thompson or some like yeah. old school MP40 thing. Yeah. Here, yeah. let me just, um, so range 25 meters. Okay. 25. And it would make sense for me to do that. Cause I'm kind of the more, the more thug guy, SMG. Well, yeah, and it's like, she's like, yeah, we can get guns, no problem. It's like, uh, well, if you're offering, you know, I mean, yeah, I guess I'll take another gun. Why not? Um, so, it, yeah, it's SMG, 25 meters, three, 3D6, three kilograms, uh, 20 round mag. 10 credit per, per bag. And it has auto three. Got it. Oh, a nice auto three. All right, cool. That'll yeah. Be, is it okay? Could I have a couple of spare magazines for it or just the one magazine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, and then, you know, if anybody anybody wants these, just, just you know, well, I mean, we could even retcon it. It's not a big deal if you'd be like, yeah, I took, a, um, I took an SMG. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> uh, cloth, cloth armor, what's the protection on it? What's that? Cloth armor, what is the protection on it? I can't, I still can't hear you. Uh, cloth armor. armor. Oh, cloth, cloth armor, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cloth armor, it's like, it basically, it just looks like, um, mm -hmm. the street clothes, but it has some, like, Kevlar or something, you know, like, kind of weaved into it. Okay, so what's the protection? So cloth armor is plus five. And armor like absorbs, you know, like if you if you get shot, it uh it absorbs. So um yeah, so uh Keishi, um May is uh She's kind of like sitting, sipping at her coffee, you know, like picking up some fruit and stuff. Mm -hmm. She does seem like she's in better spirits. Um, mm -hmm. You know, she's like smiling and laughing and stuff. And, uh, um, but, you know, like still like, there's still a price on my head, you know. Mm -hmm. 
if anybody brings it up. Um, yeah. Like if you if you bring up that um, the the guys if, who shot her were from, um, and so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I see no reason for secrecy. Like, she's the target, so essentially she yeah. needs to know who these guys are. So I definitely forwarded the message the night before to her as well, like, before yeah. we went to sleep, yeah. She's like, what tech so, level did you say the... Uh, so what the what fuck? Tech? She's like, they, so they would have jumped in at, like, the same time that we did, pretty much, and and then like blew up a crawler that night like that's crazy like astrogen must have hired them to go after us as soon as we left the system and then declared the war of assassins or how about how about this may they probably wanted you dead for all the time they never ever planned for you to escape probably the station this is just a wild theory but i don't know yeah i have some theories of my own i think that i'm one of the only people well you know may maybe like my family that we're one of the only ones who would stand up to these assholes who like we're one of the only ones in zaibatsu who would actually have a problem with what they're doing yeah, and they sure know they, yeah, yeah. Some of those those old bastards, they just want to get their hands on clones of themselves so that they can live forever. Hmm. Yeah, and then she's like, um, uh, the. Um, <clears throat> She mentions, um, like, uh, one of the, um, one of the, the Zaibatsu clans, um, and it's called Silver Lotus. Uh, and then she, and, and she says, you, you know, you know, who's, who's clone they showed us. It was, it was Victor, Victor Tran. He, he died, but I, I recognize him. It was um, it was Victor Tran. He was one of the um, he was one of the the big high ups in uh, Silver Lotus, and then they um, they have their hands in a lot of things, but like pharmaceuticals is is one of their big things. Mm -hmm. They you know they used to do like they used to run all the drugs around here. How old is this Victor Tran in real life? Uh, I mean, he is probably he's probably in his eighties or something. But the, I mean, like the, this was this looked like it was like fully grown, but it was him. But it was yeah. like it was like him in his like twenties. Okay, so this is probably a replacement, uh, a replacement body for him. My other thought might have been that somebody would grow it to whatever the age that he was, feed the information, and have it replace them or something like that. But obviously that would work if it's but, the was, age difference. Was the clone um, inanimate or was it functional? No, he was like in a tube. Okay, okay. They like, it was like, a, it was sort of like a cryo tube. They just had him on ice. Yeah. God, I wonder. I wonder if they have Victor on ice somewhere, and then they're trying to figure out a way to like take his brain out, put him in that thing. Wow, that's some pretty high tech level stuff there. Technology sure is scary nowadays. Yeah, but she's kind of like just sipping at her coffee, just like these these assholes. Like we need to. We need to do something, you know, like they can't come here and then like just knock us off and then get everybody else in line. Like they're like going straight, you know, like we're a clan, like we're a powerful clan 
And then they're going straight for the leadership because probably because we're one, one of the only ones that has a problem with what they're doing. My, my, my question would be, um, I mean, I would ask in character because um, it's a fair question, but <clears throat> does she know what it takes for such a project to commence, for a clone to be created? Like how much DNA or something? I mean, Lucas is not educated in this field whatsoever, so he will be like, so what exactly does it take to make a clone in layman's terms? Do you need a fingernail? Do you need a speck of hair? Do you need a skin graft? What do you need exactly? How much genetic of the original do you need to clone somebody? Yeah, she's like, I don't, I don't know really. I mean, like stem cells, you know. I imagine, oh, like, okay. maybe that would be helpful. Yeah, like, like maybe he knew he was gonna die, and then he went there. And then he did all this testing and stuff, gave him his D gave them his DNA, and then yeah. like gave them the go ahead. Okay, so this is the, this needs to be processed. This is what I'm getting at. You cannot simply take uh, something from somebody without them knowing and have a clone made on them. Theoretically, you I could. I don't know. Uh, I know oh, it's super okay. illegal. Yeah, right. it's like said the. Uh... I mean, Ooh. stem cells would be better, but of course, but it's uh, well, no, that's not that wouldn't be better. That would be stem cells if if you were going to be going on particular organs, because they because they can differentiate into anything they want to be. Now, theoretically, any any uh, any cell would do it that has the full genetic information. Uh, the, the trick has always not been that; it's been the forced growth. Mm -hmm. she's like have you ever seen those ads that they have on tv and they're like we can let you like make your life better and like a new you and like they show people where they like regrow their body parts and crap like that yeah. and then they like have the long warning label at the end and they're like may cause bleeding from the mouth eyes nose and anus you know i hate those guys <laughs> but I, I saw that's uh, that, yeah, one of those that that's that's a uh from uh I, well i mean i um uh, there was uh, I, I worked on a station that had uh, 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 that's where they had a university for a while. Uh, not, I mean, I mean, a, a, not station, a um, um, asteroid where they had a university set up for the uh, the belt, and yeah, you, know, you could hear the people. I mean, you got people talking, you know, professors talking, stuff like that. Whatever the current hot topic was on that, but. Uh, but yeah, that's what what I was picked up from that was that, that the problem is not the uh, that actually the cloning of parts is much harder, but the uh, but uh, the problem is growing the clones after they you know. Yeah, so, I mean, I wonder if they've been growing it for twenty years and they were waiting for him to be ready to pop his brain in there, yeah, or maybe well, they've been working on the tech for a long time. Yeah, or forced growth. I mean, you know, it's 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 uh, yeah yeah. Otherwise, you got to wait, or or it's forced growth, forced growth. You know, and it's almost better, you know, that that they grow them in tubes like that than having them like, you know, living on some facility and then they like grow them up and they're like, okay, it's time for your for us to take your brain out and we're going to put a new brain in your body. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody would agree to that, but um, but uh, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. It, like I said, if, if they never wake up and be better, yes, they just have to keep the body in shape, you know. With like my my last question to me would be: um, Did one of the scientists or anything act weird towards you or anything do you, did you notice something peculiar in their attitude or something or nothing out of the ordinary they just presented you an uh invest investment plan essentially oh lucas it was gross it was like they were they were smiling the whole time you like mm. and now we're going to show you the um the biological weapons and then they and then we sit there and we watch these monkeys fucking tear each other apart like limb from limb and she's just sitting there like 
with a smile on her face, you know, like making eye contact with me, like, you know, oh God, it's so creepy. Yeah, I mean, that's, they knew she was, I mean, what we saw her on the station, I mean, you could tell that she was, she was practically, you know, white turning green, you know. Yeah, so they, they, yeah, knew, yeah. They, they knew she was against it. Oh, I like yeah. to do to keep from throwing up. Yeah. I had to keep myself from fucking throwing up. But they, but they never tried to comfort you or got any close to you physically. No, we were, I mean, we were in a pretty tight group and then they were leading us around. We could tell okay. that they didn't really want us yeah. wandering anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to tell her that meta wise for uh, my fellow colleagues, I honestly have a crackpot theory that they may attempt to clone her to put a brain of a perfect spy that looks exactly like the target that you try to infiltrate into something. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm like, did they get any close to you to get a fingernail or a speck of hair off you, clone you? Then you can put any other brain inside that. They don't need her brain. It's going to look like her. Mm, yeah. And boom. Yeah. Well, and I the mean, perfect just decided that it was cheaper to just kill her. They're like, yeah, no. I would say, <laughs> yeah. meta wise, as big as her, her family's clan is, I don't think that they're worth that. Worth that. That's, yeah, that's a bit too much, I think, <laughs> to go through all that. Yeah. Apologies. Crackpot theory over. <laughs> but they could, like, they could literally, like, they could clone, like, a senator or something and then do, like, yeah. a Manchurian candidate, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. like part of why it's so super legal. Yeah, yeah. You just put the brain of a person that is going to be like, okay, now uh, slavery is legal again, or something like that. Completely preposterous. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like it's like on the same level, like slavery and cloning. Look well, right there. Yeah, you, they own the they own the patent to the body. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine they put a barcode in the back of the neck and be like, yours, ours now. Anytime you go anywhere, that barcode has to be scanned. Has everybody seen Alien Romulus? I uh, know. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, the beginning is really, really good. And then it goes off a cliff. But it's mm -hmm. like there's some stuff that's in the beginning that's like, it's about like Weyland Yutani Corpo worlds. Um, it's pretty good. Sorry, getting off, getting off track. Um, so, if you're kind of like finishing up your breakfast, um, mm -hmm. to say that you go to like get arm for bear, you know, like you're you're gonna you're like, well, may we might we might want some body armor or like some guns or something. And she's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like you know, like takes you to the to the armory, um, to like get you get you loaded up with uh, the firearms and body armor and all that. Um, but yeah, she so she she mentions um, wanting wanting you to meet the um, the geishas. Uh, and uh and then she says it's not like it's sorry it's not like what you're thinking like they aren't like prostitutes it's something else um and uh and then she says we could but we could do that now or we could probably do it after the race is like either way but i think that they could be like a valuable resource in all of this well i never heard the term geisha so prostitute or whatever that is Go off, I guess. It's kind of a touchy topic. You might not want to bring it up around them, but um, they have a they have a, a like a, a restaurant. It's kind of like a front. It's like a bar. It's kind of like a it's it's like a a, a restaurant kind of, but but it's not like that. They don't do that. Listen, you know if I mean? it makes it any better for you, how my species work and everything on my planet, I have like twelve mothers. My model, I heard like normal people have like one, and my dad just went to town all of them. I think I'm like the sixth of like the first woman that gave birth. 
So, you know, whatever yeah. folks, your guys vote. Whatever prostitute, geishas, whatever that stuff is, I don't care. Not my yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, just don't I, don't mention happy endings. Whatever you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. A happy what now? Yeah, it's it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's you're you're good. Uh, yeah, they've got me too on that one. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, not you, Anna. I'm looking at you too. I like the the guys, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's okay. Yeah. God, I really miss Polaris now. Us ones was such more simpler than all you weird folks. Actually, Sal, weird? like you're from here, right? Um, yeah. If you want to do a streetwise, you might know something about these. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, streetwise, here we go. Let's just roll that. That's a little the square button roll, right? Streetwise, here we go. Um, you have a there... pretty good streetwise, right? Yeah, it's a uh, street rise total is a three. So what's the modifier, a zero or a minus yeah. or just a zero? Yeah, right. just a zero. What happened there? Let's see. Six. Yeah, that's, that's eh. <laughs> yeah, maybe you've, like, you're like, yeah, I've seen them. Or I think I know, I think I know who we're talking about. Yeah, that's basic. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. What do you, What do you want to do first? Do you want to? Do you want to go to the races, or do you want to? I mean, it's up. It's up to the group. To the entire group, I would vote to meet with them before. Maybe we can get more information before we yeah. attend the races. I just do whatever you want. I was here for the free food when I heard food was free. And now it's like, I'm yeah. good. Yeah. Remember the takeaway. Yeah. We, we, could be, we could be busy after the races, so, yeah. 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 Hopefully not, but we could be. Little to-go bag of shrimp. A little <laughs> to-go bag, yeah. What shrimp that big? Yeah. And they're like... They're like no 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 it's all you can eat you don't take more when you when you leave and then they see may and they're like oh hi may you know oh. and like, <laughs> just like walk off yeah here's my little to-go bed just a fucking potato sack of giant shrimp it's like <laughs> there it is uh, may uh may compensate the restaurant for the uh excess um Okay, so if you you're like kind of like wandering, you know, through the mall for a little bit, like doing some of this stuff, um, and you say that you get the the guns and like body armor and stuff first, mm. Um, mm. and then you head over to the uh, the um, like geisha bar and. Um, they are, uh, as you like walk up, you kind of see a lot of these um, women just, they're kind of like standing around and then they're trying to like sort of, you know, get people to come into the, the, the bar and it's like dimly lit. It's this little hole, like hole in the wall kind of place. Um, and then, but you see that a lot of them seem to be like, um, uh like androids where um they are not supposed to like if you're a ro if you are like a uh a, 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 like an android you're not supposed to have it to where you are completely covered to look like you're human you know like like fake skin and everything like they would have like lots of you might maybe have like a face you know, like a pretty face, but then there's lots of like electronic, like robotic kind of parts that are showing so that you know that they're like either like mostly robot or, you know, it's like they aren't advertising that they're actually like people. And then like some of them look like they are just a kind of younger, pretty uh, 
pretty things, you know. Um, and then they're there, they are showing like a little bit of cleavage or whatever, a little bit of leg, kind of sexy, but not like over the top. Um, and and then you know, May is like, hi, you know, um, and uh, the one of the the girls like kind of turns around and like so she has like a a little katana like on her side and uh and then the you know this girl like waves at may um but she looks a little more serious um and uh yeah and then may walks up and then she's like everybody this is toshi Um, Toshi, this is my crew. This is um, <clears throat> Anna, um, Lucas, Mel, and Sal. And uh, and then and then she uh, she kind of like nods at you, and uh, and then the um, the girls that are like outside are kind of looking you up and down. Um, None of you are cy are cybered up except for Mel, right? I had to put this in the can. Why? I thought I changed this. Why is it not? Yeah, because you have like one leg that's like robotic, right? Yeah, Tessa just looking at all of them, crossing her arms, and just be like, what's the point of just wearing a shirt or even a top if all of it is just hanging out anyways? I mean, I can always see most of her chest. Why is it even when have a shirt on anyways? Yeah. But nobody has um like cyber jacks. Like like sorry, like little like data ports or anything like that. Right? Do you know what I mean? Like if you were gonna deck jack in with like a cyber deck or something. Um because they're kind of like looking you up they're like looking you up and down to see like how cybered you are. Um So, um, <clears throat> but they, they're, they're friendly and then they like kind of like wave you to, to come inside. Um, and, uh, and then it's, it's more of the same, like, um, a lot of the, there's, they're all like very pretty, you know, like beautiful look like, and, um, and they're, and then like most of them are. androids but they're all kind of wearing these little kimono things um they're kind of like look do like look you up and down like you feel like you're kind of being sized up a little bit um and and may like goes and she's like is Casey here um she says yeah yeah come on okay come on coming back um and uh and then you see like another um woman who basically only has like a very pretty face but is obviously like robot you know like some 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 parts like she has like nice hands and but she doesn't seem to be sort of covering up at all like mostly like robot and she's like i i may what can what can i do for you Uh, and May is like, this is my crew. Um, I'm, I'm a captain now. I'm a captain. Um, she's like, this is, uh, this is Anna. She is very good with computers. This is, you know, this is Lucas. Um, he's part of a group that, uh, did you, did you, I don't know if you've ever even talked about Dragonfly with her. Mm, no, for security reasons, the quieter you become, the more powerful you are, essentially, in this world. So uh, not that much advertisement, but uh, I would probably have something like a brush or something in my uh, on my uh, cape with this very, very minimalistic uh, golden firefly on it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then maybe like Keishi kind of looks at you and like sees the the little symbol and then she like kind of perks up a little bit, like her eyes get a little bit big. Um, and then, you know, and then she looks at your, she looks at your leg. Oh, she's like, or sorry, Tessin. 
Yeah, it's just like, it's like, that's cute. Like, <laughs> so one day, one day, maybe you'll be more like just, me. Like all just was confused, just raising the eyebrow, like, what? That's it. There's something funny about me. And she's like, oh no, you're just, uh, you're one of us. Uh, last I checked, uh, you want some uh, Oslin alien lion woman like me, so you know. How am I like you? Yeah, your leg. <laughs> just Tess just looks down and sees like just like she just rolls her eyes and like, all right, I'm leaving, and she just leaves outside. <laughs> She's like, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah. Um. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm I'm just going to lean respectfully and without sarcasm tell the. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. The cyber hacker main matriarch lady don't mention the leg don't mention the leg oh okay i didn't know it, it wasn't his choice that he had that he has a replacement hmm. like it. well he, he liked his original leg sure sure my fault um what can i do for you uh, and then Keishi, or sorry, May is like, she's like, show her, um, give her, give her some of that stuff, some of that estrogen stuff. Do you have your, uh, do you have your, 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 your data pad? Like, yeah. can you, sh can you show her some of the, the data? Yeah, I'll show her. Yeah, I'll show her the data. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, Keishi is like, it's like, what is this? Is this some kind of a virus or something? We don't know. Uh, probably. Uh, this is a... Uh, they were doing experiments. Uh, this was intersected for some people that were doing experiments that were making uh, creatures ultra, ultra violent. Uh, it won't, it won't different, different ones to different things, but... It looks like they were trying to create some sort of super soldier thing. Oh, abnormal people. Yeah, some sort of aerosol rabies bio weapon. Yeah. This is a corporation. Mm hmm And this is on uh, this is on Hemsit. Yeah, I've heard of I've heard of these people. This is nasty. This is really nasty. Uh, what do you want me to do with this? And uh, and and May is like, these people um are trying to kill me. Uh, and and she's like, oh, oh, I see. Uh, so it's like they've declared a war of assassins on the Sato family, and uh, they sent some fucking corpo assassins here to kill me. They they tried to kill me yesterday. I don't even know what the bounty is on me right now. It might have gone up. Um, and Keishi is like, oh, OK. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, I'll, do a, I'll do a little bit of digging. Um, well, if, you, if you'd like to have a drink or something, um, anything I can do for you, mikasa sukasa. Uh, are we going to be? I asked my, are we going to be hanging around while they're checking this out? Or are, we, are we going, or what? Um, I don't know how long it takes them to check things out. Yeah, and and May is like, she's like, um, they like, they're they're like you know connected, like they um, they know a lot about like computers and stuff, you know, because they're mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to hang around here all day. I was just—I mm -hmm. thought that maybe you might want it, like you could meet them. And uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, that's a good idea. I'm actually going to 
um so after may tells us this i'm going to accept the invitation but i'll be requesting some plain water something very benign <laughs> no alcohol um and i'm actually going to try to look around in the back rooms of this facility not the front i'm not interested in the front i'm interested in their operations like if uh the big boss of this hacker group leaves us in. Um, I mean, we had a bakery for a front for some of my operations. I don't know what it's in the back. I want to see the back, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, there is there is like, um, there's a lot of high tech like crap kind of lying around, um, like computers, but like all kinds of like parts, like robotic parts and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, and then you see that, like, the kind of like, um, you know, an Asian aesthetic, like, uh, samurai swords and stuff are on the walls. Like, uh, it looks like almost like a, like an Asian version of like Hooters or something where like <laughs> they have all kinds of, um, crap on the walls that's like like where you walk into like TGI Fridays and like it looks like a hurricane went through a garage sale and like blew all this crap on the walls. Um all kinds of kitsch um like Asian crap. But it's like it's like like Japanese hooters, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. Um but there's like in the back there's just all kinds of like high tech like crap everywhere like um Mm -hmm. what you can assume is like like charging stations you know and stuff like uh do they have an operation theater where they mount cyberware or something like that yeah uh-huh uh -huh. my, my um my electronics for computers comms remotes are is is you know like i'm pretty well adapt in that is uh can I, if i just sort of take a look around without trying too much yeah do i notice anything unusual odd worthy of note um i'm not i mean there's nothing that really stands out too much is except for it's just like um the front is like the front of the the bar is like really mm -hmm. clean and like well maintained and then the back looks like some kind of a workshop like it's like it's like it's like a front you know, like you would assume that if there's a bunch of robots that are like running a restaurant or something, like maybe they have a whole bunch of high tech crap in the back. But, but like, this I is don't kind know. of over the top. Like, I don't notice anything fishy that they're working on the back, like, like, like weapon mechanisms for WMD type stuff or anything really crazy or more like computers and like spare parts and stuff and um okay. just all kinds yeah. of random it, it also looks like a much higher tech level than what you're used to seeing God. here you know like on the planet yeah i'll be sitting in with uh, them with their with their operation while they're doing their work and kind of observing what they're doing and asking questions like now, do you need a deck to do this? Or he, she said you were connected yourselves. So yeah, that sort of thing. Just just try to find out more information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, maybe like as she's talking to you, she like like plugs something in to like the base of her skull, and then you and then her like eyes like roll back into her head. And then you see all this code just like flying across the screen. Um, and uh, and she's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do some looking uh, to see what I can find about these assholes, um, estrogen and like uh, she's like, feel free, you know, uh, do look if you want to take a look at any of this and and then there's like kind of like flying through all of this stuff like look there she's looking at what you what you gave her like mm -hmm. some of this lab data mm -hmm. and stuff 
and then like some of the like footage of like the monkeys and all that stuff yeah um if you're going to intrusion do you you're going to do any intrusion do you need backup yeah yeah sure sure um and uh yeah if you want to if you want to do yeah if you want to do computer like it, it, you could you could yeah so i think i last game i told you something I, so your your deck thing does give you a plus one to computers but it's a plus two to intrusion Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah So we're i going. So I we're think gonna get I ready told to do you that. Yeah. Just something else, but yeah. Well, Um. let's see what I can get then. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Let's see here. What am I doing wrong here? What do I hit the level or the top? What do I hit? Oh, um, just uh, computers, but then there would be like a plus two. Okay. I don't seem to be doing anything. The little button, the little square cube button to the left of electronics. Yeah, I know. I know. It Where usually, you're... as I recall, it usually pulls something up, right? Yeah, it should. Yeah, pull... her sheet is set up a little bit differently. Oh, uh, okay. But it's your, um, yeah, it's, I don't know. Every time I look at your sheet, I get confused. Because I know you have, like, you have Electronics Computers 3. Nice. Yeah, and he's an expert hacker. Are you, are, has anybody seen anything anywhere? No, no. I'm not the seeing roll. Roll is, is from oh, me. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not. Let me see here. Nothing got rolled yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now it's okay. I'm modifier, so plus two, right? It was hiding under some of the other screens. Okay. Yeah, nice. Look mixing. at that. Wow. <laughs> You're amazing. Yeah. So the two of you working together, um, <clears throat> you come across something like, um, and say that the the data, like about or the um, the the clones come up, like the stuff. um just it comes up like you're you're going across all this stuff and it's there's like some stuff that was encrypted like about the meeting and stuff and um and then she's like oh that's interesting what is this project uh it looks like it's called afterlife uh that's weird this is like a game this is like of like a virtual reality thing but they it looks like it's for dead people they must have been working on this for years um hmm. uh, and it's like um they basically it's like if you if you die then they take your consciousness and then you live in this place that's like heaven and then they call it afterlife Um, but it's in a computer and then they can put you, put your consciousness like in a new, supposedly like put your consciousness into a new body later, but it's like a secret project of, um, astrogen. Um, and then there's some stuff that comes up. Like, I'm just like between the two of you, because you're both like expert hackers, you get a lot of information about astrogen. There's a lot of like dirty kind of secrets um they there is some stuff about um like their virus research like all this different virus research that they've been doing um like uh 
they're linked to like multiple outbreaks of different viruses. Um, there is, um, there's, and then there's a mention of um, precursor viruses. They are um, freaking crazy. What's that? So when, when my character sees that, that she'll say, yeah, they are freaking crazy. They're yeah. messing around with that stuff. Yeah, it looks like this, um, these precursor viruses actually change DNA, change human DNA. That seems to be the backbone of what their their super soldier program mm -hmm. is. H haven't they noticed there are no more precursors? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, some people say they wipe themselves out. Yeah. That's what. Uh, that's what I'm of the opinion of. Yes. Mm -hmm. Either that, or the two biggest kids on the block, and uh, they got into a big fight, and then they kill each other, real mm -hmm. good. Yeah, uh, the well, other big one, the big person on the block was though. So. I can keep digging. I can keep looking. Yeah. No shoot. Do that um, and let you know what I find. But uh, thanks for your help, Anna. You're really good with that thing. Yeah, just uh, hmm. a lot of times that's all there is left. I mean, after you get through with all the work on the I mean, setting things up on the for the mining stuff, it's pretty much automatic a lot of times. So you have a lot of time on your hands. Where are you from? Uh, I I can't remember the, the, the name of the asteroid that I I grew up on, and then the uh, one that I worked on for the most part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then went into the service to thinking I would see the uh, see stuff a little bit. Yeah, I got to some surveys, but of course I had to stay on the ship most of the time. Most of the climbs were too heavy. Well, it seems like that's where these. Um these uh corpos like to do their thing is uh places where they can bend the rules mm -hmm. oh yeah hmm. well i'm gonna keep looking um and then like you know as she's talking to you like her eyes are like rolled back in her head and there's mm -hmm. just like tons and tons of data that's yeah, like just going it. across the screen yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. never trust dusters well, any inners. Um, so, Tessin, um, you're like hanging out in front, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of like you know, like checking you on. They're like, they're like, so what's your story? What are you doing over here? Are you lonely? Oh well, if you want to just don't mind me just saying my story is i'm here in a place i don't know what it is i don't know what even you guys do here or what any of this even could relatively mean for the society of your own species and or wiring but you know other than that i guess i'm just fine you know i'm just hanging around on a maintenance gal just living life in the world wondering every day why did i leave home to be with crazy people like this but i guess i'm also just as crazy as them because i'm still here with them that's cool yeah yeah that's cool you sure you don't want like a drink or something you often yeah come on come on come on in um why don't you start with that fucking fred drinks i'm in for that <laughs> until we'll yeah. go back in but the um <clears throat> Kiko, yeah. Kiko is still like hanging out in front uh with her little samurai sword, you know, by her by her side. Mm -hmm. Um Wakizashi. Wakizashi, that's what it's called. A little short sword. Um and uh but they you know they like try to get you to like belly up to the bar and and then you like the start serving up drinks and then you see this little android 
like pounding drinks and then you know that it's not going to affect her at all but trying to get you to drink <laughs> doesn't see the challenge Tetsu yeah. will take the challenge you know yeah but I would what? not recommend trying to drink her under the table as small as she is I could be amusing what's that it could be amusing yeah it could be it could be just essence just be completely useless for this whole thing. You just like got like the meat sweats and then like drunk as shit, like <laughs> a leg full of shrimp. Like, <laughs> hang on, I'll be there. <sighs> it's hot. It's hot. Um, give me the strong stuff you have right now. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go party. It's the um, fuck, what is this festival called? Forgot what the festival is called. Hmm. I don't, think we ever got, we didn't, I don't think we ever got a name. <laughs> now that I think the about it. Shrimp, shrimp festival. Yeah, shrimp, shrimp festival. festival. <laughs> Everybody just rides giant, like um, humongous monster shrimps. They don't actually ride boats. Yeah. Uh, Kanamatsuri. Kanamatsuri. Yeah, but th this is why Sal is no good good at racing that he doesn't know how to race shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I was never trained in the ways of the shrimp riding. I got the meat sweats, man. I eat too much shrimp for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two two giant shrimps dragging a chariot, uh, full uh, Neptune cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> well, get Tessin drunk enough, you might see her there. It's like, how did she get there? And it's like she got so drunk. It's like now she's just there. She's she's riding the shrimp. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool! You could compete. That's oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, I, I'm up for that. <laughs> Get fucking tested drunk enough, which she probably will now because she had a challenge right there. It's like there was a challenge yeah. in front of her, and she's like, Oh, you're trying to out drink an Ocelon? I'll show you what Ocelons drink for breakfast. Yeah, eventually, we're gonna get we're gonna get Tessin and and Sal to compete in the race. They're just gonna be like, All right, let's do this, let's get behind the wheel, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> And me and Anna are going to bet against each other. <laughs> no way this could go to go poorly. No way. No, just want to show her um, things and be like, oh yeah, she she's confident enough to do it. Like, look at her. She's showing her teeth and everything. Like that's a big smile on her face. Why yeah. is her canine so big? Why does she wait? Why does she have a lion face? <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah so, Sal, Sal's got to teach stuff. me how to how to operate the boat. So. Yeah. Um, if if you ask for the strong stuff, um, God, there is this stuff that I've had. It's like it's like rice whiskey. Um, I forget what it's called. Do you know sake. what I'm talking about? A sake. No, it's not sake. It's it's uh, like rocket fuel. It is like um, what proof? Oh, it's. I have to. I have to look it up. Um, People yeah, say that um, the taste, People say the taste is like um. The smell of gasoline, which I'm like, how do you know the smell of gasoline? What it would taste like? Like that's how someone described. It's like you know how, how gasoline smells. Yeah, that's how what it tastes like. I'm like, what does that mean? Because <laughs> I've never hey, had it. Your, your your taste buds and your and and your sense of smell are intimately connected. Yeah, I don't know. A quick Google. You, you can you can smell. you can literally taste smells. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, um, basically, what I I know what he's talking about. There's an actual mm -hmm. name for it, but I don't yeah, really like uh, that. Yeah, Stu found, found the, what I found as well, Kikori, with two Ks. Kikori? Yeah, but it is like rocket fuel. That stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's Kikori just, or Akashi or Hibiki. I don't even know. It's more like um, it's more like moonshine than whiskey. Oh, okay. But it tastes like it tastes like rocket fuel. It's like, you know, like paint thinner. Um Basically, um, she's like, it, basically, you can put it in your car and um, it'll work as gasoline. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've had it before. Like, there's a distillery like by my house, and then they made it, and we tried it, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. like that's strong. <laughs> um, Here, here's a neat site for after the game. It's everything you want to know about rice whiskey. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to make it. <laughs> Yeah. 
it's like a traditional thing. Like, um, I know that there's like, um, they don't serve it in like sushi places or, you know, like they'll, they'll sell you sake, but they will not sell you that stuff. Cause it is like rocket fuel. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, she's like, she's pounding this stuff and she's like, here you go, you know, um, drink up tough guy, you know, <laughs> like you're big, you're big, tough, tough, yeah. uh, tough lion, Rawr, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, I'll I'll do the thing where it's like I shall show my fangs and be like, "Cheers!" as I'm gonna chug that thing each time. Okay, I have to make you start doing con saves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it actually would be. I think it would be endurance because that's basically con in this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like you try. You're you're like you're like what? Are you trying to drink under the table, little girl? Like. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's it's strong. Very yeah, strong. You, know, think, you know, I think that like um, all three ones do when they start hacking, that's what happens with the first one. It's like, oh, god damn, what the fuck is that? Hey, it's only 82 proof. <laughs> only. Yeah. It's not yeah, only. <laughs> well, try, try. Hey, it's a solid. It's it. So, so let's die red, I believe. That's 100 proof. Well, like Uzo. Uzo is like 100 proof, like Everclear, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, we, we we were terrible. Uh, and once to the SCA, there was a, uh, one of our, uh, uh, our parents' persona was Russian. Um, and she always had a, bottle of chills to let's die in her freezer and uh uh one of the young military guys turned old enough to drink so we, we were nice we did set him down first we all went <laughs> so he looked at that sponsor and, went, <laughs> and leaned back and his eyes got like that. sometimes i'm just like so glad i quit drinking um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, PSA, don't drink, PSA. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm yeah. glad that my characters drink because then they do dumb decisions and it's funny. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. have to make those decisions in real life. Um, can we can we take a break? My dog's crying. He wants out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, sure. Okay. Maybe. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, 10 minutes. Yeah. So how much are you going to drink here? <laughs> As much as my pride will let me, which is a lot. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, oh, somebody's thirsty. And like, and then, like winds up another one. And oh, yeah. I mean, I think you, you would easily know that it is not, it is never going to affect her. <laughs> Eventually, after I think like, you know, the 10th shot or maybe the um, 12th, maybe 15, I'm like, you know what, maybe... When time starts slowing down around me, I'm like, and she's still fine. I'm like, you know, maybe alcohol doesn't actually affect androids. <laughs> Just maybe a little bit. You think? <laughs> but all the rest of you, you're like kind of in the back, right? And then mm -hmm. you're not seeing this go down. But mm -hmm. Tessin's pride is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's just like, she's like... A little bit of like flames like come out of like a little like jet in the back of her neck like um. <clears throat> it's just like they're like just fucking struggling like I could do one more I could do one more <laughs> just try to do yeah. just a, this try to do this like 16 shot and pull it back and then I just fall off the chair fucking clocking out <laughs> just like that's oh, it just on the ground you hear a giant thump outside Okay. Hopefully, hopefully um, the medic has plasma phoresis, advanced plasma phoresis to just filter your blood quickly. In. <laughs> yeah. It just is like, I think I can see Polaris now. It's right there <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, may, may uh, certainly that people would probably drink a lot through your facility. Uh, you folks got something for to prevent alcohol poisoning? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, wait, what? And then like turns around and like looks over at the bar and she's like, oh no. Um <laughs> Yeah, she random, like goes over random, and like, random lion gurgle noises intensifies on the ground. <laughs> yeah, like goes over to like check on you, like, like Tessin, Tessin, no, we're going to the races, we're going to the races. Do, do uh, fuck, you know what? Like, and then she like, then she like bellies up to the bar. <laughs> like she starts drinking too, you know. <laughs> Um, Tess is on the ground just trying to sloshly get up and it's like, ah, I can still go. I swear I can still go. Uh, <laughs> one second. Um, <clears throat> grabbing onto the edge of the fucking like stool <laughs> as she's climbing up, <laughs> struggling. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anna Anybody goes to find to Anna goes to find some find some wall and and pretends to bang her head against it. Yeah. <laughs> How much time before the races? Yeah, that's um, good. yeah. You're you're getting started early. It's like you're like day drinking like really early. Um, maybe it's like ten a.m. or something like that. And um, I think like Lucas is drinking his water just like. <laughs> You know, um, <laughs> this is like an also that never gives up, an also never gives up, and she's just crawling, her claws ripping through the, the oh. wood, <laughs> and she's just clawing yeah. her way to the top. Now, you like, see, if I'm you would have been, I'm with you, crew, this is for the crew, for the um, god, I always forget the name of her ship, it's like the the Zansu something, the Sansu, yeah. the Sansu battle cruiser or something, yeah. It's a, it's a, so it, it is that like Zunsu is like the brand name. It's like, like Nissan or whatever. And then it's a fast mm -hmm. merchant, but it's like a, um, it's a fast bar trader. But uh, I forget what she calls it. I, I have to, I always forget what she calls the actual ship. Um, <clears throat> I have to look back at my notes. Yeah. 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 If if the uh, if the race is going to be like at what one o'clock today or two o'clock, yeah. yeah. We we only yeah. This will be a this will be a hard. <laughs> this will be a near impossible sobering session. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> Maybe so, by six p.m. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's like, okay, okay, after this, we're not going to drink anymore. We'll have a couple. Like, we'll have of a course. couple of the race. Of course. Um, never again. Never again in the future drinking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never again for at least the next hour. I, Lucas is trying to hold back sarcasm, disbelief. Yeah. Always the next day. <laughs> never because drinking. Because grabs, like, Lucas. Yeah, you, you see Adam. Adam's kind of say, going... I will never give up. Never. I, I'm trying to help her stand on her feet. And I'm like, if you would have uh, made the drinking water competition, you would have won because it would have fried her circuits. But she's just burning the, the fuel <laughs> constantly. Where's the fucking challenge in that, Ombre? <laughs> But it's good. It's good. Uh, right now, you are more confident. We can do this. So we together, Tess. <laughs> we can do this. I lean over to Lucas and I say, "I think we need to convince Tess that Tess has won already." That's a good plan. So uh, maybe I'm going. We... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh no! So just maybe we can get him to to stop <laughs> if if he is one <laughs> yeah I, i'm going to i don't know because we talked there are no credits or something i'm essentially going to pass something like not that much probably like the equivalent of 10 credits or 10 bucks or something to the android lady and whisper to her just tell her that she won this time just tell her that 
just this time, just whisper out of test and see your shot. And I'm going to be like, put this stage like uh, display. Oh, so uh, one more. And when she drinks, she probably, I don't know, she goes along with it. She's like, oh, no, I'm defeated. I'm so drunk. Oh, no. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you drink way more than me. Oh, well, he tests his head, like like bangs her head on the fucking desk and be like, "Whoa, yeah, I do." Yeah, Chad. Yeah, can't so fucking beat strong. it in Austin. Just yeah. fucking hold, holds her arms up in the air, like, and then she just like starts falling again. <laughs> and no worry, and Austin always lands on the feet. Where's the ground again? <laughs> yeah, whisper to the android lady, we will be good friends. Thank you so much. <laughs> As we are dragging Tess out the bar, <laughs> dragging yeah. her, trying to help her. So just You're looking at her, was like, when are we getting the ship? Why am I moving? We're not moving. <laughs> yeah. So the, the bar is very, like, dark, you know? And then there's, oh, like, no. kind of, like... um what do you call it? Like all kinds of just crap, like hanging from the ceilings and stuff. And it's like the, um, it, it, but, yeah, it's, like, it's a hole in the wall, you know? Um, and, uh, oh. but yeah, get out, get outside and you're like, Oh, you know, so I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll call and have a, like a car. And it's like, like, um, uh, right. I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll have a ride <laughs> waiting for us. A whole flashbang just happens. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, now that now that we are outside, I can finally say it. Now this is one happy um uh, what was the word? This is one happy ending <laughs> because I couldn't see <laughs> the presence of the android. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like Bob okay. and her head back and forth, like, you know what? I think I like happy endings. This is what they feel like. You see you see what? the sign like in the what? bar that says no happy endings. No happy endings. Yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> oh no! I just thought maybe this is going to be some nasty uh, uh, puke aroma uh, uh, shrimp shrimp aroma puke coming up. <laughs> Sanity roll. <laughs> yeah. Sanity roll. <laughs> Pink puke. <laughs> it turns roll for me and say roll for everyone else what it looks like. <laughs> like that's it. That's not correct color. <laughs> to the race. <laughs> um so Anna, do you actually do you want to fly your drones? Uh yeah. Or, or you yes, and Sal, I guess, because you're both good at that. Hey Sal, you can gra grab the other one? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay at it. So sure, yeah, if you don't mind, because yeah. you have multiple at your disposal. Yeah, yeah, I'll um, take one. I'm, I'm not super great, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm familiar. Definitely familiar. I can do it. This is, this is the range we got to keep it at, uh, according to the um, um, FAA or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. And so if you're, yeah, if you're like bringing the drones and stuff, um, so say that eventually you kind of make your way, like you're just walking through the casino and not actually leaving the um, casino. <clears throat> and then um, make your way up and then you get to like the outside. And um, the the outside, it's like kind of like... Um, like a pyramid you know like it slopes up and then there's like swimming pools that kind of like dot the outside and stuff and like these dip, like bars and stuff and uh and then you see like kind of like rooms that you know go down the side um like the uh the the blade runner you know pyramid kind of yeah yeah and um, <clears throat> and you're kind of like up at the top, and then there's all these people that are out there, 
like looking down towards the um the like the bay you know where the um uh where all the ships are and stuff and uh get up to your box and then may is like and he's like okay like we don't have to stay here the whole time we just we can just make an appearance and then like all of a sudden she's gun shy she's like maybe this is a dumb idea <laughs> Um, but, but hey, like, hey, may, may, listen, listen, as I might put my, um, arm on her shoulder and say, you're so talking so loud, my ears are ringing, and you're talking way too loud right now, she just, you know, just, sh 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 as I put my other hand, finger up to her mouth, just so tell sh 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 Now, wait till they start flying the drones around, yeah, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> but are you guys you, you guys are putting your drones up right oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so she, she kind of like shows you like how to do like the the flight plan is so that uh so that all the drones don't like collide with yeah. each other and then they just kind of have like a um a network that mm -hmm. the 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 drones are connected to so that they know where each other are. Um, and then if you all want to give me, it's either, I think you can do, I think drones, you can fly them with either computers or sensors or even like decks, like in a pinch, but. All right. So I don't have sensors, but I got computers. So. Yeah, oh, I thought that. you did. I thought you had computer sensors. I have computers, comms, and remote. That's that's or, yeah. I think that's what you meant. Remote ops. Remote ops. Yeah. No, that's that would work. You could definitely use that. Perfect. Whichever is better. Um, and now modifier zero, or is this going to be really hard with a minus, or is this going to be yeah really straight hard? straight roll? Um, straight. Got it. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, that's an eight. Not too bad. And then. Uh, uh, Anna, if you want to give me another one too. Okay, let me show you over here. Okay. No control system right there. No, nah, that looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Star Trek Tricorder app, by the way. It's so fun. <laughs> Does absolutely <laughs> nothing, but it looks and sounds cool. <laughs> I need to get that. It's like, like, look, I'm, I'm from the future. This does nothing though. I, um, I used to, I used to scan like when kids were younger. I'd <clears> scan <throat> things with it, and they would just give me the rolled eyes, and you know, oh, dad. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, digress. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, um, so you get your drones up. Right, and then um, you kind of hear the um, the like the rumbling of um, engines, and uh, and then see these see these racers kind of like line up at the starting block, which is like basically like right right where in front of where you are, and then there's like a circuit. <clears throat> and there's um like they're sort of like projecting like uh or they have like displays that are on the sides of the casinos where they can see like the races like what's happening um and uh and then these she's like, she's like yeah they're about to start um can we get can we get like three um uh, three for margaritas, five, five, everybody, everybody. Um, I'll take a beer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like like ways down a sure. you know, the server, or you have like a box. You have like a like a box. So mm -hmm. she, you know, like punches in punches in the order. Yeah, just just, just a beer. I got a uh, got a concentrate. So yeah, and a, and a side of shrimp. And a side of shrimp. Yeah, Tessin, like, no way here. 
Here, here, have some leg shrimp, you know. Uh, That's a salty shrimp. <laughs> you might get some oil there, but it's fine, you know. When, when Tess and pass it, flavor. When, when, when Tess is finally passes out, uh, finally passes out, we're going to empty the leg. <laughs> Um, so as you're, um, as you're like the, you, you, you see the, like the race is starting, right? And then you're kind of like getting your drones up and flying your drones around. And, um, and then one of you spots these two assholes the um the assassins Ooh. Like, like they it's definitely them they've made like they're not they're not even like made like no attempt to disguise themselves like at all and they're across from you like in the um casino like directly across from you <laughs> Like, like, kind of like looking at you with some binoculars. Oh, jeez. Um, God, these are like some fucking Goonie crone type Looney Tunes that people. It's like you didn't even disguise yourself. Yeah, these guys are dumb as hell. Um, <clears throat> but you spot you spot them. Okay. All right. Well, uh, May, can you kind of put up like a? I don't know what the what type level that would be. Is there like sort of like a horse shield she could put up in front of her or anything like that? Or is um, it too high a tech level or something? Yeah. So <clears throat> so do you but you show her, right? You show her yeah. that these these guys. She's like bogeys 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 at twelve at at twelve o'clock. She's like, she's like, uh, like shields, like what? Um, Casey, she has, she has one of those. I could go get it. Oh, wait. Have, yeah. have, have, oh sorry. Oh, have when spotting them, um, does it seem like with their binoculars that they've spotted her or they're looking around for her? No, they're like looking directly at you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And um, don't think that they have any idea that you've even spotted, because they're, like, sitting there just, like, mm -hmm. looking right at you. And you haven't seen, like, a, a sniper rifle come out or anything like that just yet, but um, but it's, like, they're just, they're just sitting there. Like, they're not even pretending. They're not even, like, trying to pretend that they're looking at the race or anything. Um, just Can I duck out and kind of slink and arc around over to where they are i'd love to just sort of like disappear use my stealth and get close to them mm -hmm. yeah um here I'll, I'll give you i'll give you our frequency a combat with our frequency uh i'll keep you apprised yeah because no one's messing with me man uh and if if a uh, rifle does come out and they get it, as they're getting that set up, it's going to get buzzed. I'm, I'm with I'm with Sal. Um, I think they being two, uh, not underestimating Sal, but two is better than one against two. Yeah. I will join Sal. So I am pretty conspicuous, robed through a crowd. I'm just moving like, oh, this is not my seat. I'm changing the seats again. Oh, no, this is not the seat again. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm approaching. I'm trying to stealthily approach them as well. Yeah. Now, they are in a rival casino across the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like basically they're in another in another casino that's like across from you with a view of like the Sato family box, you know? Um, before May, uh, like, um, quickly goes around the corner to go to get herself a shield, I ask, ask her, is that, is that, uh, 
uh, casino arrival of yours? Um, and she, she points it out and she's like, um, oh, um, that's like, the, that's the Lux. They're, well, I mean, they're, they're not like, like unfriendly. It's just, So you they're know, it's you're like friendly kind of competition. yeah okay Um, yeah, <clears throat> but okay so she's we're like, not she's like, we're should not I go get, should I go get Casey's shield, like borrow her shield? i would i would Okay. uh i think you they sit down and they'll be in for surprise if they uh, uh try to shoot and nothing happened <laughs> And you don't Um, get hit. so what if we did, what if we do like a skill chain? Um, so Anna, you're like staying in the box and then are you doing drone stuff? I'm I'm sort of I'm doing in my drone. presence I'm guy. I'm keeping an eye on them. I'm feeding information to Sal and uh, uh, Lucas, and uh, and if. They start breaking out a gun as soon as they get that down, and they're starting to get them, they're starting to take a bead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buzz them with Okay, the drone. so, so, yeah, so May kind of breaks off, you know, like bounces down the stairs, like goes going back to the geisha bar. And then, um, so Sal and Lucas, you're going to sneak around the back. Delphi, yeah. Okay. Um, and then Tessim, what are you, what do you, where do you want to be? Uh, let's see. Forcing. I mean, I guess I mean, I guess I'll just go with them. My because let's be honest, I'm not the tech whiz here. I'm just a mechanic. I can't do any of that stuff. I'm like, I'll just make sure that my safe as I'm just stumbling everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Like a fucking ping pong ball just going back and forth or anything, just the most noise possible. Just Uh, pushing oh, shoot. people out of the way and say like just pushing people Oh, out of the oh. way and say like, out of my way. <laughs> I need to get somewhere. <laughs> well, well, why, why don't you follow May and report back to us if anybody approaches her? Yeah. What did it say, Annalise? So if you two if if Sal and Lucas are trying to sneak around the back. Um, if you want to give me the stealth, or I would take recon. Let's do that. So I'm gonna Oh, stealth okay. ever crossed. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, Um, but that's still... So that's like one failure, two successes. So... You're still you're you're fine. I guess yeah, Tessin, you can play bodyguard, like you can body block. If you want to, I don't know, like recon or something, you have recon, right? I have a rig cut. I was also just over athletics to see how many people I push out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, athletics I'm just and going. just like strength, just like get out of the way. Okay, yeah, that's th that's three successes. So um <clears throat> So you get down to the the bar, right? And um, and May's like, wait, where's where's Kishi? Where's Kishi? Uh, and in the back, um, and May like runs to the back. She's like, Kishi, Kishi, I need to borrow. I need to borrow your shield. I'll be right back. I swear, like I promise, I promise. And uh, and she's what? Like why? Oh, are you planning on getting shot at, honey? Um, and uh, and then and and she's like, Ugh, okay, okay, I don't like this. I don't like you're making me really nervous. What a fucking crazy sentence to say. Are you planning on getting shoot at, honey? <laughs> like, what Yeah. the fuck? <laughs> Insane. Um, but she like takes off her, she Sure. it takes off this thing and like hands it to her, and it's like um, and then she like she She turns it on for a second, and it's like um, like a dune shield. Blow shield, yeah. Yeah, 
and it like it goes up like around her and you kind of see her like kind of shimmer like a little bit like she's like blurry a little bit and then she's yeah, it, it's and like it turns it off <laughs> she's like how long does this thing last and she's like you're good you're good get out of here um and uh and then so with with anna kind of like guiding you guys she's like okay go down you know you need to like go down here go around and then go across the street like uh, those like it's open, you know it's like they're up in this box like giving you directions um and then um tessin and may to start making their way back up the um uh back up to the box you know um anna can i get another drone mm -hmm. roll <clears throat> Let's see. No modifiers on that, right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Um, so, still, like, guiding you guys. Um, and then um, the race is is starting. And then May, like, does her, her best... Um, like kind of like beauty queen routine and uh and like she the you see like the the camera kind of like pan around and it's like showing the crowd and stuff and then it like pulls up on her box and then she's like she like makes it up there and then she's like and like and like holds up a drink and 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 like like does like a clink with with you guys you know, like does like a cheers with Anna and Tessin and and does like a does a like does a shot, you know, for the camera as it like pans around. And then there's like and there's like May Sato, you know, the Sato family. <laughs> um and then um let's see. So the the you know, like these these guys are gunning their engines. And um, and then the the race starts. You know, like you hear like this rumble, and then the crowd is like cheering and everything. Um, can I get another stealth or recon from? Let's try Sal yeah. Lucas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's one more. Cool. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Um. So yeah, I mean these casinos are like a freaking maze. And it's a little bit hard to tell, but you know, like you you know where these guys are. Like you have a um mm. like a, a section, like a seating section. Um mm. and then eventually Sal and Lucas make their way up kind of like behind these guys. Mm. Um and then while all this cheering is happening, you see the um you see like the guys are start putting together a rifle. Or no. yes. Oh okay. with the drone. Um <clears throat> it's, it's starting there assembling the rifle. Yeah. But if you want to do well, how do you want to, how do you want to do this like Sal and Lucas how how many people are they like in sort of a secluded area by themselves or are they packed in with a lot of people that aren't paying attention to them stoop over or what's what is the immediate surrounding of them so they are like in kind of like a front row area of like the um they're in like a bar you know, where it's like over the railing, they're like looking over the railing. And then there's like people that are lined up kind of next to them. So they're not by themselves, but they seem to be nonchalantly just putting together a rifle like under their, you know, like under their uh, clothes. As they're... 
are are we somewhere um at a higher level like are we higher in the air like in some kind of a tribunal like uh, uh, right across the thing from us right right across okay okay mm -hmm. yeah so so being i'm kind of in this in may's gang i kind of have an idea who might be in other gangs so do i recognize anyone else sitting around that's also gang members are they wearing gang colors or do these two look like they are here representing the enemy gang and there's not a lot of other support for them around i'm trying to just size up is this a crowd full of gang members and these are just the two that are going to take the shots mm -hmm. or are they kind of by themselves in a, in a crowd of regular people my kind of just sort of looking around at the people do, yeah. I, do I size that up at all? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so the um, the gang that these guys are, would be part of, the um, the reverse, they are specifically from Hemsut. I think that maybe you haven't never heard of them being from here. You know, like the local, you know who the local gangs are. You kind of know what they mm. look like. Um, and the, um, I guess maybe, maybe streetwise, um, streetwise. you got it. Yeah. Or recon, I guess. Recon. What is that? That's about, yeah, we'll, we'll do streetwise. It's both the same. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a success. Um, so the people around them just look like they're just kind of there to watch the race like they look like they're just kind of you know drinking um in their in some a lot of them look like kind of touristy and then there is it's more like in the bar you do see some people that look like more like um bouncer kind of types like heavies like possibly from one of these local gangs, you know, but not, doesn't look like they're like, it looks like these two guys, like the same two guys that, you know, were on the speedboat and then they're just like sort of operating on their own. Um, but how do you, so if you're, if you're like sneaking up behind them while they're putting together this rifle, if Anna lets you know, just like, hey, heads up, um yeah i did I said it is, yes uh -huh. yeah like if you want to do sort of a how do you yeah how do you want to handle this i'd like to walk up next to the one that looks like they're primarily putting it together and just put my dagger right up into their spine not shoving it in and just say toss that over the edge because it's there's a big because they're right at the edge right mm -hmm. so, yeah yeah if you want to have a spine, throw this rifle over the edge. Okay, and Lucas? Uh, uh, seeing Sal do that, I'm going to put my uh, gun to the back of, not of the head, because that would unconceal it completely. I'm just going to put the barrel in the rib cage of the other one and be like, uh, yeah, I think we are going to confiscate this. We'll take this off you. Yeah. So the guy, um, the guy who's like putting together the rifle, he's like, fuck. Um, they, uh, he like goes along with what you're saying and he like takes apart the barrel and then tosses it like somewhere like over the railing where it kind of lands, like not in a crowd and then takes the other part and then like, you know, like, like looks at you and um, all the way in the water. Then, what? It's like I I I, I say to uh, Sal, it's like all the way in the water, tell him. Yeah, all the way in the water there. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, the tiger's got this is a good 12 inch. I can tickle your heart from here. So he kind of like he kind of like nods and um and then it tosses the um the rifle and um 
But as they're turning around, you see him reach for another like piece, you know, that's like kind of like tucked into his waistband. And he's trying to like turn on you. Um, but it's like you can't necessarily like the other one is doing the same thing. You can't necessarily tell if he's trying to take it out to toss it over the side or if he's going to try and shoot you with it. Um, so Okay, I, I start a plot. I start the the knife into his back. Then, yeah, that's not that's not what we're doing here. Yeah. Okay, and then and he's I'll, like, I'll buzz the other one. Huh? I'll buzz the other one. Okay, sorry, I can't hear you. I'll buzz the other one. Oh, with the drone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like get down in their face with it. Yeah. It's just like we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think that's enough to like intimidate them to yeah. uh to actually drop it. Yeah. And then like Lucas has a gun on them too. I, I wanted to be like seeing this and they are at gunpoint. I'm going to be like hands up to the one that I'm threatening with the gun only, and I am going to remove the piece from the back where I see that he was trying to reach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm I'm literally like uh, uh, body frisking this guy while still help he, uh, uh, keeping them at gunpoint, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so easy he, uh, now, easy now. I'm just going to take this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the um, the guy who like. The, the you you feel like as you start to push the knife in that they have like the same kind of body armor that you have on it's like oh, it doesn't start to go in immediately you oh know? yeah that's fine i i know body armor and i know it's not 360 i know there's yeah. little there's little wedges and openings yeah. inside so i know where to put a knife in somebody with body armor so yeah. So, so you like move it from his back, from his like spleen up to like his armpit, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just get nine nice and close and it's right there. So he's not going anywhere. Yeah. And then he like, he takes the, takes the gun out and like nods like kind of slowly and then tosses it into the, to the water, you know? Um, but you have these guys uh, captive. So do I have comms uh, yeah, communicating back to you or just I'm I only no, 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 you have, to, no, you have comms. Okay, what's May want done here? Um I'm, yeah, like I should... look across and May is like hi. Um the she, she's like she's like get up, bring him take in. Him, take him, we're gonna take him to my dad. He's gonna fuck him up. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's like, she's like, we got, we got questions, right? Mm -hmm. We sure do. All right. Okay. So we're going to go for a walk. We're going to go out of here. So we're, we're not going to ruin anyone's day. Yeah. Um, but you're, so you're. You're, are you keeping your keep or how are you like are you keeping Lucas you're keeping a gun on this guy the one that you I'm have keeping right? yeah I'm I'm imagining that I have the gun um in my uh in my right hand underneath the rope and I'm mimicking a friendly gesture like we are two friends going outside the lounge outside any kind of uh, public area keeping this guy at gunpoint, but nobody can tell. It's almost like I am just following him very closely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're like, kind of like telling them where to go. And um, I'm going to de default to Sal because Sal knows this place. Like I'm just going to follow Sal's lead, uh, essentially. We're just going to exit. And if one gets away, fine. But if this, we'll put maximum effort on the second guy because we want one for inter interrogating. So yeah. if one gets away and squeals, it doesn't matter. 
you know, we're at war with these these jerk bags. So, you know, it's mm -hmm. obvious, but we want at least one alive. So hey, can you send back up? Oops, I mean your brothers. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you Oops. could meet us at the, the corner across, you know, at the at the bus stop in between the two casinos, let's meet there. That's that's not far. That shouldn't be too far. And it's, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll look fine. We'll just stay nice and close. But, but Sal, how are you? Are you just like, are you just kind of like got your arm around this guy? Like yeah, got your knife? Arm like around him. him. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So um, as you're like making your way, right. Sure enough, the guy who, like Sal, like you have your kind of knife in his armpit, he mm -hmm. tries to make a break for it. He tries to like run for the crowd, you know. Um, do you or let's see, do you want to do? It's like melee or like grapple. I don't know. I don't know if you want to let him go, or if you want to uh, like try and keep him. What I will do is I will. I will see how this initial works. I will stab him. And if it's not enough damage and he just runs, then I'll let him run. But if it does enough damage, then we're going to keep walking. Okay. Okay, cool. But um, my goal is to not kill him. And uh, and if I can have presence of mind, if I get a good enough roll, I'd like to say, I don't want to kill you. Even after I stab him. Don't make this worse than it already is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he anyway, tries to break away from you. And right. like like make a run for it. So if you want to just give him a good one, like in the in the this artery, you know, like right here you there. go. I think I want to be a nice roll. Oh come on. I've been rolling garbage all day. This is terrible. Okay, so he's getting away. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Just, sorry, Lucas. I am not stuck. I think your grip. <laughs> just like uh, turns on you. Apparently then... he acted as a moonwalk. <laughs> um maybe I was close. Thinking... I was doing that all the time too, and I just didn't realize it. <laughs> how, how close was? How close is he to the edge of the water? Oh, so you're so you're making your way down, right? I was gonna say, like, if you guys are kind of meeting in the middle somewhere. I mean, I was um, ask, like, roll, you could kind of see if I can see where he's going to follow him. If he's gonna yeah, you yeah. just like yeah. close line him, you know, as he's trying to run away. <laughs> Let's see what I get. That's actually really good. That's great. You guys are amazing. You guys know how to roll. Yeah. <laughs> I've had three sixes, and those three sixes I had plus threes to. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah, no, this is going to fall after that guy. <laughs> Don't mess no, with no. Elmat. Don't mess with, like, a drunken fucking an Oslin. <laughs> Yeah, so Lucas, like the one that you're like holding, and he like tries to, he sees his friend like break, you know, and 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 run, and then like you're like, oh, easy, you know. Is, um, he, is, he, is he the guy with the? Um, is is he pretty face? Oh no, no, these guys are like those. You so you um you know like you've heard of the um. The Reavers, you know that those that's like leadership. Like those are like top top guys. Like oh, in, okay. like pretty okay. boy. He's like one of the top guys. Um, but the uh the these guys um uh, actually like don't have that much cyber, like they look like kind of low on the totem pole, maybe. Um but are you are you gonna I guess what I'm asking is are you going to shoot him if he tries to if he tries to break from your grip? Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously. I mean, I don't really see a way because hitting them with the butt of the knife uh, of the gun is not an option because they are getting away, trying at least. So yeah, I, I will attempt to shoot, but non-lethal. I imagine. <laughs> I imagine to obviously nothing like the head, probably in the armor and the uh, push of the bullet would just push them to fall to the ground, essentially. 
while the Kevlar might save their life, essentially. Just shoot him in the ass. Um, <laughs> exactly. The uh, okay, so yeah, he tries like he sees his friend run for it, get away, right? And then he does the same thing, like tries to juke you. Um, do, do you want to just shoot him? Uh, I want to shoot him in the legs. I'm actually full spring auto like dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess just give me a firearms. Uh, firearms. I shall do that. You um, have, um, if you haven't put it in already, there is the combat where you can put in um, the gun you have and everything too. You can make like mm -hmm. a one yeah, yeah. that way. Okay. So I imagine it's a dexterity because this is reflex based. Yeah. Uh, every, um, every gun is, is dexterity. Any like melee weapons are strength. That's kind of how Right. Makes, makes complete sense. And the skill would be my gun combat, which would be a one. Da -da -dum. Uh, and let's hope for a good one. A good roll. Uh, plink. Did this do Ooh. anything? Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> a lot of damage. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Um, oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. So I, what I should have done, too, is I should have given Sal, like, a plus two to get for, for this guy, because he had like the, already had the knife, like, in yeah, his... Right in him. You know, armor. Okay, we, we, we can retcon that. So Sal probably manages to uh, hinder this that the first guy's movement, so my guy doesn't try to run. Well, no, sorry. What I was going to say is like, because I, I don't, I hate retconning like combat okay. stuff That's where it's true. like you go back and then you're like, oh, well, he should have done this much damage. I forgot I had fire resistance. Um, but the, like, it's just say that you jab him, right? So he's bleeding. Um, but he managed just to, to sort of like, you know, like yeah. get away. Um, and then you shoot this guy like in the ass and it like, like and it just blows his leg apart like you see you see like most of his ass just come off with this right. shot um and then he is down on the ground he's like oh 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 my god <laughs> sorry man. um oopsies <laughs> but he is like stay down, man. <laughs> stay down. <laughs> They they will have to glue you back together in hell if you don't. So uh, stay yeah, down. Um, we we can clone your ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I I see that Tessin got, walked away from the camera for. I was gonna say, it, she, she got a really good look, or she she got a you know saw this guy mm -hmm. running like kind of like hobbled, like bleeding out of his arm, you know, this artery in his armpit. Mm -hmm. Um. Tessin, do you want to nab the other one? Because you see him tr trying to like get away, but he's like he's he's definitely bleeding. And then the other one is on the ground, like bleeding out out of his like femoral artery. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll try and go for the other one. I'll try and like you know tap him down with athletics and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be great. Drunken martial arts versus wounded guy. <laughs> Fully going Aslan um, line woman versus um man. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he um he like you you see him. You see him and then he's running. Oh I feel like okay. Cause he's he got he like he got him. You know, he he nicked like got him right in the like armpit, you know, or whatever, like in that artery. Um so you definitely have one of them. And then the um and then when when shots get fired, the um the guns come out. And it's like the uh the you're like coming out of the casino that's across the street, like the um the lux. And and then this guy is like running down the street, and you see Tessin like going after him, trying to grab him. It's kind of disappearing into the crowd. Um, and then the the security guys from the Lux like pull pull guns, and they're they're like they're like put your fucking hands up. 
Um, and then May, you know, like you see, like May and Anna kind of running across the street. And May's like, hey, that one, that one's mine. Um, and the, you know, the guys are like, they're kind of confused. Like they're like looking around. Um, and, uh, and, and she's like, she's like, that one's mine. It's a war of assassins. That's a fair, you know, like he, he, he had a, he had a rifle. He was trying to fucking kill me. Um, and then the guys are like, you see them like, kind of like look at each other, like a little bit weird. Uh, and then they just kind of back off. They yeah. just like go back into the I, casino. I, I'm also going to not push my luck and essentially mm -hmm. make the, you know, like these, uh, like try to de-escalate, like show myself like, okay, mm -hmm. you guys are just doing your job. I'm not going to point a gun to them. So yeah. I'm just going to wait for them to leave me alone, mm -hmm. uh, reload my weapon and uh, join uh, Sal in pursuit to see how Tessin is doing. Yeah. Um, so this guy is like on the ground and you took a huge chunk out of his leg. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of damage. He might just be yeah. auto dead, by the way. Yeah, that's like missing leg level. That that's so bad. <laughs> oh my god! I was just looking at that. I was like, I was like, Ooh. um, I don't know. Like he's he's he. You probably need to, like, if you're gonna question him, you need to do it quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy needs well, a medical professional attention. It also, it also depends on like what protection level his um armor is because that also matters technically because what armor he has matters because yeah. it takes most of the blow and the damage and then the rest of the damage just goes on to their ear endurance or dexterity which yeah. will be endurance this time because yeah, yeah. It, 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 except that sal slipped it through through a, a joint oh no this is the other guy oh, the, uh, other the, guy. The, okay. the guy that i stabbed probably took okay. a couple points of damage and he's running okay, yeah, but right. the guy that the other one lucas that, like shot, did a yeah okay yeah first yeah into his blood. yeah they, that's <laughs> that they've got armor on so that's to soak up some of it anyway yeah unless they just had a flak vest and then yeah the butt but apparently, not covered, like, that leg's gone <laughs> yeah so so yeah but the um lucas is kind of like He's like, he just, he kind of like holds the, you know, holds the gun up, like, mm -hmm. like takes his finger off the trigger. And then these yeah. guys, the, the, the like um, guard guys, the like security guys from the Lux, they're like, they're like this. Yeah. Get back up, like get back in the casino. Um, and then they like, you see like people, the crowd kind of disperses, you know, everybody is like out in the streets and they're like having a good time. I'm like, holy shit like the this and then all of a sudden this guy is on the ground like bleeding out um but he's like lying on his stomach and he's like trying to hold his leg together um <clears throat> like like ah uh, oh, uh, 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 might still die anyways because of the bleeding out because bleeding in um traveler is not good yeah so you're hang on because, like, even if he had pretty good armor, 12 points of damage, like, that goes straight through your endurance. Mm. Even if he had, you know, even if he had a 12 endurance, like, and he doesn't. Um, yeah, he's, like, he's like bleeding out. Yeah, like, okay, so, so, so I imagine that I'm going to quickly uh, holster my gun. I have, and I'm just I have medic. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to just like? You want to try and like um stop him from bleeding? Yeah. Yeah. Is is there a big crowd around, or is this like in between the crowds of the of the casinos, and we're kind of like out on the street? I'm pretty sure we made off. a big crowd from just the noise alone, yeah. my guy. Yeah. Picture like the Vegas uh, Strip, kind yeah. of. Yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be busy. I wouldn't have any modifier on that, right? Sorry, one more time. I wouldn't have any modifier. Um, actually, 
I mean, you're trying to do thing. it like in the middle of a crowd, like there's like a lot going on. So it's a little, I would say maybe a minus two. Yeah. That's not going to be good. Okay. Just to, but just like to kind of stop the bleeding. Um, yeah, he's like, you like, um, look at his leg and, and then he's, he's going into shock. He's like, he, he like, he's like, you know, his eyes are getting huge. Um, and then he's like looking down at it and he's like, you know, like, like breathing really, really hard, like ragged. Um, and, uh, but you are right. like right across, like you can get Yeah. him into Yeah. the casino easily. Yeah. Uh, No, that's what we do. Just stabilize it just long enough to get him in the casino and have, I'm sure they've got doctors in there, maybe even the yeah clinic. yeah but the um the heavies the heavies from the um the golden yuan come out right like the, your your crew um and then they you know like they come out with their guns and stuff and then they they pick him up like grab him and and they're like where's the other one um They're in pursuit. Yeah, yeah, we are tra we are tracking him. Um, Our best Aslan is on the case. yeah, so they they pick his ass up, and then this you know like this guy, like they they two heavies like pick him up, and then start dragging him into the casino. Um, so let's see. Uh, I don't know, Anna. Do you want to do maybe another drone? Well, to try to Yeah. find the other guy. Yeah. I'll I'll zero in on their uh uh have them tell me where they are and then I'll head on over there with the drone and then start scouting ahead. I got I got up high Is and is see if I can is see Tess, is Tess on the the same com link? Yeah. Oh yeah, Yeah. Tess. Tess, what's your location? I'll back you up. Just like back in the submarine, man. I got your back. <laughs> of the Loda. <laughs> this is like, I don't know where the fuck I am. I don't know this place. I'm just running after this guy. <laughs> I've never been here before. What do you expect? You expect me to know this place? I'm just chasing wherever the guy went. <laughs> But let's um let's do another skill chain. So like Anna, you can do. Well, I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but you could you know you can uh, Direct. like fly the drone, try and find this guy, and then you can give Yeah. you could give the other guys a bonus. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah. Oh, yeah, because since there's, there's technically, since the heavies have one of our prisoners, then that means there could be three of us fanning out to try to capture this guy. And he's wounded. He may not be traveling as fast. Well, no, he's not wounded in the legs. And Okay. he might, wow, So that's um you're amazing. yeah, that's so that's a 15. So whoever wants to go next gets a plus two. I'll do my recon then because I'm still after this guy. I'm still on pursuit. Yeah. All right, plus two. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god. But you got a plus two, so that's a success. No, that, no, that's where that's with the plus two. I already put it in with the modifier. Oh, it's snake eyes. Oh, but that's Oh, it's still rolling snake my eyes. game I out. got I got snake eyes, my guy. That that's like <laughs> double failure. yeah, so that's so that's still snake eyes. So whoever goes next, um, I think you have a minus two. Oh. Okay. All right. There's no way I can roll horribly. Let's go. Don't, don't ever say that. No, I've drained my bad luck. Watch in amazement as I roll. Is it recon? Oh, uh, sure. Or yeah, I would say it's recon. Okay. It's kind of streetwise, maybe. Okay. And the modifier is minus two. Yeah, it's minus two. All right, here we go. Come on. Huzzah. Nope. Uh, okay. But at Uh, least it's not penalizing is it Lucas. At Lucas? least it's not penalizing Lucas. Lucas, maybe your recon <laughs> will work. <laughs> maybe. yeah. See? I, 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 I just love that we were like, let's interrogate this guy. So we proceeded to roll snake eyes on tracking them, and I proceeded to roll critical on the damage I dealt to one of them. <laughs>
<laughs> she's just gonna shoot him in the back and like just try and you know like shoot him in the leg and like, rah, 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 like bang. Yeah. I saw two sixes and I was like, man, that guy's probably dead. <laughs> oh no, he's, so he's dead. Like, I don't. I'm gonna be quite honest. That guy that um you shot, that's going in shock. I don't think that medic roll was good enough. I think he's still gonna die. Unfortunately. Well, no, this was this was just to stabilize him long enough to get him t- into the casino to their doctor. Yeah, I don't Ooh. think that uh, works. <laughs> okay, Not- so that's that's minus two, I believe. So no, 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 sorry, no. It was just it was just because Tess enrolled Snake Eyes. Yes, oh. and I I already took the minus two. Yeah, and I stabilized it with a six with a with a eight. No, a six. Yeah. Question: so, What um, uh, what what uh, what instruments does this drone have? Um, the geez, just I'm visual, or does it have what, any other senses? That does it have any other? They do, they do have. They're like upgradable. Like you uh-huh. can put all kinds of sensors on them, but they're like. Okay. Um, I'd have to look. I'd have to look at the drone thing because there's because these are like um, surveillance drones. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can put you can put different kinds of sensors on them. But what you have is more like um, cameras. You know, I probably have audio on there too. Audio. Yeah. yeah. If I could pro yeah. if I could program it to uh, do up the gain and program it to. Uh, the frequency for somebody breathing really heavily. Well, what but that would probably fall into. Maybe I can track it that way. Well, um, so you had the last round, you had two failures and two successes. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a tie. So I'll let you do, I'll let you do one more. Mm-hmm. And then if you, if you fail, he gets away. Okay. All right. No, no, we, uh, yeah, so we're going by, we're not going by sight here, so that should eliminate that, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so so next person, uh, roll with a plus two, and I got a, a 12. Maybe it'll go better for me this time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not touching any b- benefits. I'll ruin them. I-, I will curse. You could give me a plus 10, and I'd probably roll it, too. Hey, guy, it's me, Tessin, again, here. When I know a hot take, will I actually succeed on the right recon? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's a success. That's not, so that's that's not, that's not, that, you see, there it is. I just reversed the six I got and turned upside down. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a that's an eleven. So that's a plus one for the next person. I think. Yeah. So next person gets a plus one. So scared to take that. What do you think, Victor? I I I I, I, I trust this too. Let's go. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck and fortune. Recon plus one. Come Let's on. go. Recon, or I would take streetwise too. Uh, streetwise. Uh, yeah, that's both pretty cool. Yeah, it's the same thing. Let's try it. Come on, come on, please do something good this time. Oh, how do we get a zero? How what? Are what? That's, what? That's impossible. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't seem right. No, I that think, doesn't seem right. I that doesn't it, seem right. I think Look, it, I got another one and a two. I think I, it I, broke. <laughs> yeah. No. So wait. So your so your recon that should have been. A one and a two. I'm looking at it right now. A Something is weird with three, that. Plus one. Yeah, I think it might. Yeah, broke. plus three plus one. So that's what is that? Three plus three plus one. That's, that's a seven. seven. Yeah, it's a seven. And so, um, I think it's just so used to me failing. It just <laughs> gave to zero just for the heck of it. <laughs> it's just like um Saul, don't worry about it. We we did it for you. <laughs> we gave you the zero. Yeah. <laughs> so um one more is but um okay, so I feel like because you guys are kind of like running through this crowd, right? Like mm-hmm. you're following this little blood trail. Anna spots the guy, she's like, he's that way. 
Um, and then, you know, Tessin like kind of like gets eyes on him, right? Uh, Sal is like trying to, you know, make his way through the crowd. Lucas, if you, I, I will, okay, I will take stealth. I will take recon, or I'll take um, streetwise. Uh, so or either stealth or recon. Well, I'm going to try uh, attempt a stealth. Or, uh, or streetwise. I'll take streetwise too. Yeah, not that much in streetwise. But you had a two. I thought you had two. Uh, uh, not on my character sheet. Oh. But stealth is three. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, okay. All right. So that's that's three. Um, so Lucas just like comes up behind this guy and just like body checks him. You know, just like knocks him down on the ground, and he's still like holding. He's like, he's like holding his um, wound in his in his shoulder, and like puts puts one hand up, and it's like covered in blood. You know, um, like laying on the ground. Um, like you got me, you got me, <laughs> man. I am going to put some special word in, especially for you, <laughs> to be extra tortured. For all of this mess you've just caused right now, you've made this ten times worse. This, uh, is, the, this is the longest um, chase in existence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's so much stumbling, so much um, rolling on the floor. It's because you guys guy. are so drunk. Um, okay, so yeah, maybe we should maybe we should call it there. But you get you get you get both of them. One is definitely bleeding out. One is um, definitely dead, I think. He, he's going to get to the doctor and the doctor's like, why'd you send me a dead body? Yeah. Well, he was alive <laughs> when we got here. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? You, I'm, I'm a doctor. No, You need a priest. What am I supposed <laughs> to do with this? Could, could mix well with the shrimp cocktail. We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you like blood in your wine? You know, do we do the Jesus thing here? Yeah. But yeah, maybe we should. It's probably like four in the morning for Victor. So. Oh geez, yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, no, no, no. It's fine. It's six twenty-three, but it's fine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You want you want to go over that again? What time is it? 